Since last 10 days, India and the globe has been talking about one drone, Sky Striker, and its capabilities in warfare. This is the drone that we are talking about, Sky Striker, and a Bangalore-based company has created this and largely been successful in the market. Let me introduce to the people who are behind this drone right now, Mr. Hari Prasad, CEO, and Mr. Raghavendra, COO. So firstly, tell us... Uh, the idea behind this drone and the market for it. Everyone's been talking about Sky Striker and its capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very good drone, very good uh, light recommendation. And uh, this is done in partnership with Elbit and Alpha Design. And, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, uh, as you probably saw already in a lot of uh, information about this product, it's a, you know, 100 kilometer range. And uh, it has, uh, you know, it can take uh, war, uh, you know, warheads up to 5 to 10 uh, kgs and uh, has the ability to go up to, you know, and then actually have a very highly precision attacks. And that's uh, one of its key strengths. It has a very high precision, up to a one meter precision. That, that's the quality of this product. Uh, Mr. Raghavendra, take us through this drone, the working of it, and uh, the main common man question is, can the radar not pick it up? When we are sending these drones, for example, away from our airspace, can the enemy nation or enemy uh, anti-missile detectors, can this not pick it up? Yeah, yeah you uh, put across a very valid question. Uh, it's As our CEO said, it's a highly uh, potent uh, weapon. It's called as loitering munition. And the beauty of this is it is extremely small in size. You can, what you can see is the one is to one real size. And it's extremely small. And it's RCS, what we call, you know, radar cross-section is very, very less. Radar cross-section is not the actual cross-section. It is the cross-section what radar can see. Yes. See, for example, a stealth aircraft like F-35 may be a big aircraft, but its radar cross-section is very less. Similarly, this one, uh, by, by virtue of its sleek design, as well as the radar absorbent material that has been applied on this, so the radar cross-section of this is extremely less. That is one thing. Second one, it is battery operated. There is absolutely no noise whatsoever. So if it is flying, particularly say in night time, nobody can even see this, nobody can even hear this. So there is a question of it getting detected by the radar. Also it doesn't fly very high. So there is no chance of it getting detected by the radar. And as you can see, it has got an electro-optic payload over here. And uh, it is controlled through something called as GCS, ground control system. And it can also take orders from the... Uh, it can also take orders from the GPS coordinate that is uh, applied by the uh, G, uh, ground control system operator and it can go and precisely hit the target. Alternatively or parallelly, it can also take the continuous electro-optic input from this and continue to relay onto the ground control system through the secure data link and uh, the operator can see the, suppose there is a moving enemy tank. So he can see the tank and he can press the button and it will lock onto the target and go. And uh, this has got a range of uh, about 80 to 100 kilometers depending on the payload and payload uh, 5 to 10 kg payload it can carry. So it is a loitering munition, a beautiful design and uh, used world over. Yeah. And it's a good tactical system. So if the user decides to call it back, uh, you know, he can, that's why it's called loitering munition. So it can go to the spot, loiter around the, you know, on the, on the spot and then the user can decide exactly which location, what has to be done. So there is a minimum collateral damage. So it, that's one of the powerful features. So he can choose and then if he thinks it's not the right time or it's not the right place and the, the target is not there, he can pull it back and that's the advantage of this product. And, uh, and, and this has got an uh, airbag sort of thing. So when you decide to bring it back, the airbag will get deployed and it will land. So, so you can reuse this so if it is not used. Proper Indian uh, you know, setup that if it doesn't use, we can pull it back and then use it, re reuse it. Uh, tell us the success rate of it. You said the precision is so good, it's one meter. Uh, during your test times, what has been the results? How good has it been and what is the demand for this drone? Uh, it, it's pretty, you know, I, I know it's one of the very successful products. And, uh, you know, of course, I have worked with companies where we have competed with this product also. That way I know both sides of it. And I, I love this product. It's, it's very successful. And we have uh, kind of uh, exported also. And it has been used. We don't have exact data how much, what is the exact, you know, times it has hit the target. But we know from our studies and our data from our analysis that it's, a, it's, it's, it's almost 99%.
Right, sir. And uh, this is another uh, feather in the hat for the Make in India concept that everyone talks about. Uh, a drone that is used in the warfare has been built in Bangalore. Uh, tell us about Alpha Design. What else do you make apart from drones? Yeah. Uh, Alpha Design, uh, you know, as I told you, it's about 24 years old company and uh, purely and purely deals with only defense equipment. Our customers are armed forces, that is Army, Navy and Air Force, DPSUs like Bharat Electronics, HAL and DRDO, various uh, divisions of DRDO we deal with and MHA forces, uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs, Home Affairs uh, forces like uh, BSF, uh, CISF and CRPF, etc. And... Uh, our product range covers almost entire spectrum of defense needs from electro optics to military communication to electronic warfare to radar and microwave to aerostructures to simulators to satellites and SATCOM and satellite launchers and unmanned aerial vehicles. So we cover almost entire spectra spectrum of defense requirements and aerostructures also. In fact, most of the uh, flying controls uh, of the Sukhoi 30 has been manufactured by us it, as a build to print for the HAL. So, in electro-optics, we have supplied uh, many uh, uncooled thermal imaging systems and cooled thermal imaging system to uh, Indian Air Force and uh, Indian Army. Then, uh, and from the uh, airborne systems, we have upgraded uh, the Russian helicopters and uh, we have got a, a fantastic capability to upgrade the legacy Russian weapon systems. And uh, presently, we are uh, uh, running a contract uh, with one of the customer Armed Forces customer for upgrading one of the uh, legacy weapon system. Then we have also manufactured, uh, indigenously designed and developed the RF seeker for Brahmos you can see over there. So uh, that also has been indigenously designed and developed by us. It's in the trial stages right now. So in the last 10 days, Operation Sindhu, you have heard uh, the in, in news inputs, you have seen it on TV also. Turkish drones have been spoken about, how Pakistani army use the Turkish drones. Uh, if you have to be asked about the comparison between this and a Turkish drone because both are suicide uh, bombers, silent killers. How good does our product stand? Uh, no, I think our, our uh, product has been proven and tested world over. And uh, I would say from that perspective, I think we have a great uh, partner with us, Elbit. And uh, I would say, you know, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, performance, whether it is precision, whether it is in terms of, uh, you know, um, the endurance range i think it's a very good product and uh, in in terms of actual in the field performance i think that only time will tell but this is already proven the others only time will tell i would uh, put it as low tech versus high tech so test versus indian uh, thing is a low tech versus high tech so and last thing economical compared to other drones for example the rp drones of israel and other us drones or turkish drones how economical are we I think that's a good question. I think it's a very economical product and, uh, and, and compared to any other thing. I mean, uh, loitering munition is one of the best and the cheapest option. And within among those, uh, this is definitely uh, having been doing it in India, I think our ability to even provide a cost-effective solution is very high. Yeah. See, beauty of our Indian defense manufacturing ecosystem is it is centered around make in India. You know. So because of that, even if you are using a, a OEM product, but it is virtually made in India. You can you can have a live example over here. So when the when this particular uh, equipment is made abroad and given to us, the cost will be something different. And it is purely made in. India. In fact, the complete system has been manufactured here in Alpha, though we, it's manufactured in collaboration. So as a collaborative uh, uh, ecosystem, uh, India has really developed as one of the uh, very strong countries. So this is just one of the examples, and there are so many uh, examples we can give for opportunities for collaborative manufacturing. Well, that's the makers of this drone from Alpha Design talking about the capabilities of this drone and how Make in India products are soaring high in warfare and also befit giving a befitting reply to other countries. And now it's time for us to stand up and show the world what India is capable of. Nagar Jundwar Kanath for India Today.